Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about ratio and proportion. But in this video lesson, we focus about ratio, the definition, application, and explanation on how it used in business. When we say ratio, that it is the comparison between two numbers or quantities. So try to observe the illustration, the ratio of triangles to squares. Ratio can be expressed in four ways and can be written as first, using the colon form, second, using the division form, third, using the place form, and last, using the fraction form. So kahit alin dito, pwede natin i-represent yung ratio. So we can read this as 2 is to 3. So pag binasa natin yan, 2 is to 3. Express the following ratios in simplest form. First, 1 hour to 40 minutes. So, ilang minutes sa isang oras? Meron tayong 60 minutes. So, 60. So, in fraction form, so, i-represent natin into fraction form. 60 to, is to 40 minutes. No, 60 is to 40 minutes. So, pwede pa natin to i-lowest term. So, by dividing both numerator and denominator sa 20. So, 6 divide 20. The answer is 3 and 40 divided 20, the answer is 2. So, ibig sabihin, the simplest form is 3 over 2 or 3 is to 2. Next, 2 weeks to 4 days. So, ilang araw meron sa isang linggo? 7. Since dalawang linggo ito, meron tayong 14 days. So, 14 is to 4 days. So, 14 is to 4 so, pwede pa rin natin to i-lowest term. Pwede natin i-divide both numerator and denominator sa 2. So, 14 divided by 2, the answer is 7. And 4 divided by 2, the answer is 2. So, the simplest form of 14 over 4 is 7 over 2 or 7 is to 2. Next. 8 out of 30 passengers are tourists. So, find the ratio of the tourists to the other passengers. Now, uh, since from 30 passengers, yung 8 na doon ay tourists, so yung remaining is the other passengers. So, kinukuha natin yung ratio ng tourists dun sa other passengers. So, meron tayong 22 na other passengers. So, yung 22 dito, that is the other passengers, since yung 8 na doon is yung tourists natin. So, kukunin natin yung ratio ng tourists to other passengers and that is 8 is to 22. So, pwede pa rin natin to i-lowest term by dividing both numerator and denominator sa 2. So, 8 divided by 2, the answer is 4. 22 divided 2, the answer is 11. So, the answer is 4 is to 11. Next, Mark has 42 marbles. 14 marbles are red while the rest are green. What is the ratio of the red marbles to green marbles? Now, since the total marbles na meron si Mark is 42, and then 14 doon ay yung red marbles. So, yung red marbles yung 14. So, 42 minus 14, the remaining is the green marbles, and that is 28. So, Kinukuha natin yung ratio ng red marbles to green marbles and that is 14 is to 28. So, pwede natin to i-lowest term. So, we can divide both numerator and denominator by 14. So, 14 divide 14, the answer is 1. And 28 divide 14, the answer is 2. So, 1 is to 2. Another, in a certain room, there are 28 uh, women and 28 men. So, what is the ratio of men to women? Since we have 21 men and 28 women, we have 21 is to 28. So, pwede rin natin to i-lowest term by dividing both numerator and denominator sa 7. So, 21 divide 7, the answer is 3. 28 divide 7, the answer is 4. So, the answer is 3 is to 4. Next, what is the ratio of women to the total number of people? So, kung meron tayong 21 men and 28 women, 
So, 28 plus 21, that is 49. So, 49 lahat. So, kukunin natin yung ratio ng women, that is 28 to 49. So, 28 is to 49. So, may, pwede pa dating i-lowest term to by dividing both numerator and denominator sa 7 din. So, 28 divide 7, the answer is 4. 49 divide 7, the answer is 7. So, that is 4 is to 7. Okay, let's move on to solve the following problems. So, allocation of a number according to ratio. So, to allocate or divide a number into parts according to ratio, consider the following steps. First, add the terms of the ratio. Next, write the terms as the numerator with their sum as the denominator. And number three, multiply the fraction to the whole to get the part. So, suppose that 5,400,000 pesos is to be allocated to the three departments, sales, marketing, and advertising in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. How much money will be allocated for its department? So, the givens are, so the total amount is 5,400,000 pesos and the given ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 3. So, first step is add the terms of the ratio. So, ito yung given ratio natin. The first step is to add. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3, the answer is 6. Next step, write the terms as the numerator with their sum as the denominator. So, our denominator here is 6. So, paghihiwalayin natin itong tatlo na to. So, it magiging 1 over 6, 2 over 6 or 1 third, 3 over 6 or 1 half. And then, after that, multiply the fraction to the whole to get the part. So, isa-isahin natin multiply. Itong fraction natin dito sa given na whole part or yung total amount na 5,400,000. So, first, yung 1 over 6. So, 1 over 6 times 5,400,000 is 900,000 pesos. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung allocated sa sales. Next, 1 third. 1 third or 2 over 6. So, 1 third times 5,400,000, that is 1,800,000 pesos. At ito ay mapupunta naman sa marketing. Okay, so sa marketing naman mapupunta yan. And last is 1 half. So, 1 half kalahate times 5,400,000, the answer is 2,700,000. At ito yung mapupunta sky advertising. So, ganito tayo magsusob kapag uh, merong allocation. No? Allocation of number. So, ganyan, ganyan natin gawin. Palo nyo lang yung tatlong steps at sundan itong steps na to. Another problem, Andre Lopez bought a house and a lot that was advertised as follows. First, the amount of land is 3 million. For house is 4 million, for furnitures is 2 million and 300,000, and for the appliances 950,000 with a total of 10,250,000. Andrew was able to buy the property at 9,225,000. For records purposes, the buyer wanted to allocate the 9,225,000 to be various components in the same ratio as the components were advertised. So, paano gagawin ito? So, ibig sabihin, uh, yung parte ng bawat isa na to ay dapat ganun din ang gawin dito sa 9,225,000. So, yung ratio ng paghahati-hati ng uh, amount nitong apat na to ay ganun din dapat. No? Yung paghati-hati dito sa 9,225,000. So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, find the cost allocation for each component. So, first, kunin muna natin yung allocation na yung, uh, yung buyer na, yung the buyer wanted to allocate na 9,225,000, i-divide natin dun sa total amount, no? dun sa advertise 
na total amount. That is 10,250,000. I-divide natin yan. And the answer is 9 over 10 or 0 0.9. Okay? So, in decimal, this is 0 0.9. So, gamit itong 9 over 10 or 0 0.9, ito ang gagamitin natin sa bawat uh, uh, ano, isa, no? sa iba, bawat uh, allocation. Like, so, first is yung land. Imumultiply natin yan kay 0 0.9. Okay, so tingnan natin. So, 0 0.9 times 3 million, that is 2,700,000. So, sa presyo na ito, na 9,225,000, yung katumbas niyang 3 million, kailan same ratio daw kasi as the components were advertised. So, sa amount na 9,225,000, ito yan. No, two million seven hundred thousand, and then for house, point zero point nine times four million, that is three million six hundred thousand, and for furniture, zero point nine times two million three hundred thousand, that is two million seventy thousand, and for appliances, zero point nine times nine hundred fifty thousand, that is eight hundred fifty five thousand. With a total of, kailangan pag tinotal natin ito, same doon sa amount na to 9,225,000 pesos. So, kapag mga ganito class, kapag ganyan, na yung ratio natin contains a set of two or more fractions, the fraction should be converted to fraction with common din and then the use ratio of their numerators. So, ganun lang ang gagawin natin. Or mas maganda, i-convert na lang natin into decimal para mas madali nyo i-multiply. Okay? So, pwede kayong gumamit ng calculator or pwede namang i-mano-mano ito since uh, more on zero naman yung given. Kayang-kaya i-solve manually. And for the last problem, Leah, Narcisa, and Mona form a business venture sharing gains and losses in the ratio of 2 fifth, 1 third, and 4 over 15 respectively. So, ibig sabihin yung 2 fifth, that is for uh, Lia. And 1 third for Narcisa. And kay Mona, 4 over 15. After Mona retired, to continue using, using the ratio 1 third is to 2 fifth respectively. So, the financial statement of the mis business shows a profit of 3,300,000. Determine the profit shares of Leah and Narcisa. So, kagaya kanina ng ginawa natin no, for allocation. So, first, ang gagawin natin, i-add muna natin no, yung components nung kay Leah at kay Narcisa. And that is 2 pip plus 1 third. So, itong kay Leah at ito yung kay Narcisa. 2 pip plus 1 third. So, kunin natin yung GCF nila. And then, ito yung magiging denominator natin. A numerator rather. Kasi ganito yan. 15 divide 5, that is 3 times 2. So, that is 6. 15 divide 3, that is 5 times 1, that is 5. And then, add your numerator and that is 11 over 15. Then, after nyan, no, after nyan, after natin ma-add yung numerator which is uh, 11, ang gagawin natin, yung numerator natin, yung gagamitin natin as our denominator. So, i-multiply natin ngayon. So, ang gagawin natin, i-multiply natin isa-isa. Yung bawat components, yung kay Lia at yung kay Narcisa. So, anong lang ang gagawin? So, 6 over 11 times, so itong fraction na ito, i-multiply natin sa, whole, sa given amount para makuha natin kung mag, tag, magkano sila. So, 6 over 11, ito ay kay Leah, no? Okay, that is kasi yun yung nauna. Okay, 2 fifth. So, 6 over 11 times 3,300,000, that is 1,800,000 share of Leah. Bakit Lisa nang nakalagay dito? That is Leah. Okay, and okay that is for Leah. So, ito yung profit shares ni Lia. And then next is for Narcisa and that is 5 over 11. So times 3,300,000. So ito yung magiging share ni Narcisa. So 1,500,000 share. 
para kay Narcisa. So, kapag in natin yan, ang total niyan is 3,300,000 pa din to check. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.